just got to quickly say, guys, I'm truly honoured and humbled by some of the private messages and, and the reaching out that you guys have shown in contact me and giving me feedback and letting me know how I am you know, helping you or influence you in creating positive change in your life. I really appreciate it, guys. Look, I'm not doing these videos to see how many likes I get or see what sort of fan base or comments I can get. This is for you. This is the real stuff. This is helping and adding value to your life in any which way you choose it. You're looking at what you can take, the cues, the different perspectives, the different points of performance that can really increase your life and your livelihood and your well-being and what's important to you. So what I really appreciate that, guys. So thank you again. And what I want to dive in today is ROI squared. Now, not everyone's heard the term. Most people have, but ROI generally means return on investment. I guess it's something that's probably used in a business sense a bit more often than not. But what I want to talk to you about, guys, is how we can relate it to your own life. Because what is investment? What is the investment? What does investment mean? The investment in your life is time and energy. Things that never end, never get back. It's almost like a two-sided coin. What energy output, what are you having there? ROI squared. So what is, and I want you to ask yourself this, guys, with any circumstance or situation, what is my responsibility, the opportunity, and the initiative in any given circumstance or situation, that will give you, that will yield you your greatest possible return on investment. And the investment is you, your effort, your energy, and the time that you're putting into this. Any given circumstance or situation, whether it's nourishing the body, training, relationships, stresses of work, good or bad, no matter how great or small the issue, circumstance, or situation you're facing, guys, ask yourself, well, what is my responsibility? Instead of just washing your hands and being the victim, how can we take ownership of this? How can we liberate ourselves and free ourselves from feeling like a slave or constrained or restricted in that given position that you've been put in or something that's been presented to you? What is the responsibility? What, what, what can you take ownership over in that certain position? And from that, what opportunities lie ahead for me? There's always opportunity. Life is full of opportunities, guys. Everything in life is an opportunity to either choose to go one way or the other looking as a great opportunity or a burden or something that's going to pull you down. It's how you choose to see it. It's double side, two sides of the same coin. And then what is the initiative? What is the action that I can take from this opportunity, from this circumstance that I've taken responsibility and ownership over to move myself forward? What's the action you can take? We don't always get it right, guys. You know, we don't always hit the pinnacle of our performance as well in taking that action. Is it right? Is it wrong? It's, it's what works for you and then recalibrating and having a crack again because sometimes things will repeat themselves, other times they'll happen just once. But it's about putting yourself in the right possible position to have responsibility over it, look at the opportunities that present themselves, look at what initiative you can take because knowledge isn't power, it's about taking action and then redefining what's important to you moving forward from there. What's the initiative I can take that will give you the greatest possible return on investment, which is your time, your energy, your effort, and ultimately love, happiness, and fulfillment in your life. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon.